Hi everyone, Michael back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to copy flow actions in Power Automate. If you enjoy Power Automate, Power Apps, Power BI, Teams, and SharePoint videos, feel free to subscribe because we're putting out more videos in those areas and it might help you down the line. So let's get into the video. You want to copy flow actions. So a flow action would be this update item. So any of these steps or actions in your flow, you can copy. So let's say I wanted to copy this update item at the bottom here if it's yes. And I'll go ahead and remove if it's no so we can copy it over. So this update item pretty much just updates the item based on the approval. So if it's approved, it's going to go to yes. But if it's no, I also want to update the item. So let's say I just filled in all this information. I just want to copy it over so I, I could save some time. You want to go ahead and click on the triple dot. Copy to clipboard preview. Let's go ahead to add an action, my clipboard. And as you can see, we have the update item right here. We're gonna go ahead and click on it. Go we'll ahead edit update item two. And as you can see it, it filled in all the information from this one. So that's exactly what we wanted. So let's go ahead and change this from pending to denied because that's what we want. So that's how you copy a flow action. It could save you a bunch of time. And we're also going to copy a scope. So let's go ahead and create a scope down here. So a scope contains a bunch of actions. So I'm just going to copy a few compose statements. So we're just gonna put title in there. And let me go ahead and copy this compose, add a new action my clipboard, paste that compose. So now we have two composes. I'm just going to do this one more time. Let me put in different update items here. So we have title, due by, and department. So I'm going to go ahead and rename the scope. So scope to copy. So let's go ahead and copy this to clipboard, add an action my clipboard and as you can see we have the scope to copy so let's go ahead and paste that and now you have all the compose statements so you want to get in the habit of putting your flows into scopes just so to make them look better and easier to identify but also if you want to copy a bunch of actions if you have them in a scope you can go ahead and copy them within your flow but also you can go ahead and copy them to other flows so let me go ahead and go to another flow. So that was the device approval one. We'll just go to payroll reminder to employees and let's go ahead and add a new step. So if you see, we still have everything that was copied to our clipboard. So scope to copy, compose and update item. Let me go ahead and click on scope to copy. We have our compose statements. Let me go ahead and click update item. As you can see, we have the update item, but since I did these two, body ID and body title, these were relying on previous steps from the previous flow. So it's not going to work here. You would have to add that previous step and then get the dynamic content down here. But I copied it over, which is what we wanted. And the copied actions to your clipboard will remain as long as you are logged into Power Automate. So, I hope that's a nice, neat little trick for you guys. Uh, it definitely will save you some time down the line. And I know, like, when I didn't know about this, I would have up two, I have two monitors, so I have both flows on each screen, and I'd manually copy them over one by one. And uh, it just took a lot of time, and uh, Power Automate makes it pretty easy to uh, copy any actions you have. And if you don't know about it, hopefully, so we'll save you some time. So if you enjoyed the video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And I will catch you in the next one.